Hey there, folks. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome to another episode of the Nintendo Wiretap, this time for April 12th, 2018. Today, we're talking about Billy Mitchell and how his scores have been permanently removed from Twin Galaxy and banned from future submissions. Now, about two months ago, we reported that former Donkey Kong champion and video game legend Billy Mitchell was under fire for supposedly using MAME, a form of arcade emulation, to play Donkey Kong. The use of anything else other than the original arcade board is strictly prohibited for the score to be considered for a world record. Now, if you're unfamiliar, MAME stands for Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator, which is a free and open source software with the goal of preserving video game history. It does mean, however, that there are slight differences when compared to the original game. When it comes to Donkey Kong, a standard arcade unit will have the screen load from side to side. In MAME, on the other hand, it'll load parts of the screen in chunks, as you can see by the GIF on screen right now created by Jeremy Young. So, why is this a big deal? Well, MAME can be used to artificially inflate a score. So, you could use MAME and potentially use save states so that you could go back and quickly do something that you might have messed up on. For these reasons and many more, MAME is a completely prohibited tool for Twin Galaxies and for the Guinness Book of World Records. Now, since these accusations came to light, Billy Mitchell has gone on record to say he never used MAME, but the video evidence was, in this case, more than telling. Now, if you've ever seen The King of Kong, Billy Mitchell is more or less one of the poster children of Twin Galaxies, so many people, myself included, thought that this might get swept under the rug, but as of today, it looks like that did not happen. As of today, all of Billy Mitchell's scores will be removed and, most notably, he is now officially banned from submitting scores to Twin Galaxies, and by extension, the Guinness Book of World Records. This kill screen on his legacy can be read in full on the Twin Galaxies official statement. They note that Mitchell never took an opportunity to speak up on his or his record's behalf. They also mentioned the reason why it took almost two months for this decision to be made, by saying that they wanted to make sure that their procedures and principles were followed and wanted to ensure the utmost validity. So, we're not just talking about Donkey Kong here. All of his scores are now completely removed from Twin Galaxy. But there you have it. The end of one of the most interesting tales in video game history. The King of Kong is almost 11 years old, but still one of my favorite video game movies of all time. At the time, I always kind of thought that the documentary painted Billy in a very negative light, and I wasn't sure if it was true, but now that this has come out and the decision has been made, it looks like he is indeed a villain in history books, but what do you guys think about this? Do you think this was the right decision? Do you think Billy Mitchell is going to come out on the record and say anything about these decisions? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And that's going to wrap up today's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap again for April 12th, 2018. Now, once again, we want to thank our amazing Patreon supporters for helping make this show a reality. If you want to help support an episode of the Nintendo Wiretap, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below or clicking the Patreon logo on the screen right now. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time with another episode. Have a good one. Bye, guys.